This is a ripstop technique for radial split tears of the meniscus. In this case, we've got horizontal cleavage plane tears as well. So we're going to close these down with some vertical mattress sutures. We pass near the meniscal capsular junction, then we pass near the medial margin, and we close down that split. And then we're going to use these as our ripstop sutures. Next, I'll trim off portions of the meniscus so that I do not feel are viable or will not heal very well. You can see that nice radial split as I'm pulling on it. And typically, if your surgeon is trimming out the meniscus, this is how they do that. They'll bite smaller pieces and then vacuum out the debris. But if you take out the meniscus, the literature shows that you will become arthritic. And so the idea is preserving as much meniscus as possible. So here we've already passed our second vertical mattress suture. Now we're going to make a ripstop stitch. And this means we're going to pass suture outside those vertical mattress sutures and use those vertical mattress sutures as a point of traction to help us close down the meniscus tear and take some of the pressure off of the suture itself so that it has less risk of cutting through the meniscus. So we've got a nice rip stop in the back, close down the back part of our radial split. And we're going to pass another rip stop across the front. As you can see here, I'm using this suture just to the right of my jaws as a rip stop. And then we'll pass over and pass on the other side of the radial split. And we'll close down this radial split even more. So there's our second suture. You can see our horizontal suture going across. We'll go ahead and tie this. And then lastly, I'm going to pass one more vertical mattress suture. And this is called a hay bale, which is all the way around the back. And the anterior edge is left free to compress those sutures back into that radial split and reduce their profile. So here we've got a nice repair of our radial split. You can see we've got a ripstop sutures, we've got our vertical mattress sutures. We've restored as much meniscal volume as we possibly can. And then we'll take this knee through a range of motion and we'll have a nice stable repair.